I received an email. <laughs> Sorry, new studio, but still old intro. I received an email from Baby Audio asking me to review their new plugin, the Type plugin. And yes, they requested me to review their new plugin. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, so Type, Type, Type is an AI powered tape plugin because nowadays everything is AI, of course. I actually think I need to pronounce it, I think TAI because they're really putting the AI in tape. Yeah, it's um, on sale right now. It probably isn't on sale anymore when I publish this video, but uh, right now it's $39, uh, which is 44% uh, off. It uh, actually looks like a cassette tape. Which, yes, I'm old enough to know what it is. Let's see what they say. Warm up your sound. Tape recorders have a musical quality that digital mixers often lack. I mean, if you just record on tape, it's already better than if you have a fully mixed song. And if we talk about recording, of course, there's a different vibe going on on tape because the whole workflow is different with recording to tape. You just have to do it right. You have to play it right. And like what we're doing nowadays with like take selection on a 24 track tape machine, you could use a few channels for takes and then comp to take, like make it all into one channel. Uh, but most of the times there weren't enough channels to do that and you just had to record over it. So if you've recorded something, you really had to decide like, is this the best I could do or can I do it even better if I do it again? But if I do it again, I cannot go back because we will be recording over it. That's, that's how tape worked and that gives a different vibe to the music. But that's not what this plugin is about. It will add some authentic analog heat to your tracks. Yes, of course, we're talking of course about the sound and the color that a tape machine is creating without the need to root any audio outside the box. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. If you have your infrastructure done right, you can just route things pretty easily to your tape machine. Putting the AI in Tape. AI is an overused and often misused term, but we believe it's the future of music technology. For a hardware emulation project like Tape, AI offers an alternative and in our opinion, more faithful approach over the traditional DSP method. When a normal DSP emulation would entail guesstimating the effect of various analog components and their mutual dependencies. That's exactly what I'm always saying in my snake oil videos. We are guesstimating it. We're not really emulating something. We're trying to get close, but it's not the real thing, but we're selling it as the real thing. That's the whole issue. Why not be honest? We're doing our best work, but we know we're missing things. Anyway, sorry. This process may sound overly digital for a plugin that brings an analog sound, but the reality is that analog and digital are two fundamentally different domains. To get a computer to behave or sound in a certain way, it helps to think like it does. Recreating an analog style signal path in DSP is thinking about the problem like a human. The AI approach helps us to solve the problem like a machine would for a more faithful emulation. I love this piece of text because that is what AI is about. And AI basically is like a black box. You put something in and something gets out. But what happens in between, we humans do not understand because it's machine language. <laughs> it's it's not our, our way of thinking. And yes, that could be better for the machines. Why should the machine speak English or Dutch or Swahili? I mean, it has its own way of doing things. Now, of course, because Baby Audio emailed me, I sent an email back with, okay, I want to take a look at the plugin, but can you please answer one question? And that question was, how did you train the AI? And <laughs> it sounds pretty easy, but I own a tape machine and there are a thousand different settings that I can make on that machine. So what data did you use? And the answer I got from Casper was really cool and, and, and something that I really want to share because it turns out that it's not that easy to create training data with just a tape machine. And that is because of the fact that there are so many variables and that tape machines are very unstable machines. I mean, there's woe, flutter, there's noise, which is completely random. And of course, things that change when the machine heats up or cools down or whatever. And it turns out that a machine learning algorithm cannot really handle that randomness. So that was a really interesting answer actually to hear. And I didn't expect that to be an issue, but apparently it is. Anyway, let's... Um, Let's let's now take a look at the plugin. And uh, yeah, this this is it. It has a tape reel over here, a tape reel over here. This is drive. Okay, that's an interesting control. Drive auto gain, great. 
automatic gain compensation, which is like just stupid if you do not put it in your plugin. Okay, now let's first try out this thing on a piano version from Darude, uh, better known as Sandstorm. Wait, 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 wait. We have a bypass in here? Or do I have to like now edit in the ugly thing here from Reaper so that you know when I bypass it? We don't have a bypass, we don't have a be beautiful bypass button. So, so here's a thing, uh, a request to all plugin makers. Make a bypass button in your plugin so that it looks better in my videos. <laughs> Not bad. That's interesting. It sounds it sounds like my side channel is distorting, but my mid channel is staying clean. Or not clean, but it's distorting less. Hmm, interesting. Where a little bit of flutter in there as well. I really like how how that flutter from a tape machine and and that that like going up and down in pitch creates atmosphere and creates emotion. There's so much emotion in the music when when you do something like this. Interesting, interesting. But of course uh, we have better music to test it on. So let's try a different version of Sandstorm. This version of Sandstorm actually needs like a very low, low voice, like, like, so, like, like, like this, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Something like that, like. Just when I hear such a beat, it's just like in my head, it does that. Oh, that's already. I do have a little bit of a gain uh, increase. Oh, we can make so much atmosphere with such a song. Let's put it down a little bit and then use a little bit of this wear. different vibe and now I don't need that low vocal anymore in it because the vibe is just different the thing with analog tape is that it's very difficult to describe what is actually going on and for me it's really a certain feel that it's creating and it's it's really like it is alive or something. Like like it's really adding emotion. And this is partly with the drive, partly due to the noise, and partly due to what they call here wear. And this is doing this pretty well because it, it gives me that feeling. Because 
that is what tape is about. Tape is not an exact thing. It's something which is hard to grasp and hard to get. Really cool plugin. And what this plugin really makes me want to do is create a shootout video between real tape and tape plugins like this one, but also some other ones that I can find. So maybe that's something that I'm going to do in the future. If you want to see that, leave that in the comments below and also tell me which plugins should join that shootout, of course. And that's all that I have to say right now about the Tayhype. Really interesting to see like this new AI approach to plugins and it would be really interesting to see what else AI will bring in the plugin business. Because I think we are just at the start of AI in the world and also in audio engineering. And I think that there's a lot of stuff that we couldn't do without AI uh, in the digital domain that AI can do for us. So it would be really interesting to see where this may end. Now, of course, you shouldn't trust me and my opinion. Always try things yourself before you buy it. And that's the cool thing about software. Almost all pieces of software have trials. So check it out in the description down below. And after you've checked it out, uh, come back to this video and leave a comment below with what you think about the Tayhype. Oh, maybe I'm pronouncing this thing wrong the whole video. Now, for the disclaimer, Baby Audio did send me a license to check out this plugin, but that's also all that I got. Baby Audio did not get a preview of this video or any saying in what I should and shouldn't say in this video. So everything in this video was my independent opinion. And if you want to support my independence, you can do that by buying something through my affiliate link in the description down below. If you click one of those links and then buy something in the Toman or Sweetwater store, a little bit gets kicked back to the studio. And thus you are supporting me without actually paying anything because you're not paying anything extra for your equipment. Another way to support me is by joining the fan club on patreon.com, which I'm going to link over here. And on Patreon, you get early access to these type of videos, answers to your questions, and of course, some other good stuff. Now, the last way to support me and the YouTube platform, of course, is by staying on it and watching more videos. So I'll link one of my videos over here, but also feel free to watch videos from other creators because that's what makes YouTube great. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing and bye-bye.